Hey there and welcome back to my channel. So today we are on day four, I believe, of this Subscriber Suggest series. This is the second round. If you haven't checked out days one through three, or the complete first round, there is the full playlist in the description box below. But today's video is actually a kind of spin on one of your suggestions, and it was actually Ashley Lowe, so I hope you're watching. You suggested this video such a long time ago, maybe you don't even remember now. But it was basically a kind of, if you had to restart your collection type suggestion. Yours, I think, was based on a video you'd seen that had a price limit, um, and was based in categories. And basically, I just ignored the price limit and ba went based on the categories. So I have two for, for niche, two for designer, two for um, kind of like clothing store fragrances um, or designers, but not like Dior Chanel. Uh, designers of just high street or regular clothing stores. And then two celebrity uh, scents as well. And the main things. I try to do, I think, is um, that there are, none of these are discontinued fragrances because that would really change the game. Um, there would be a whole bunch of fragrances that I would try to get my hands on that are discontinued if I had to restart my collection, which just the thought of that gives me anxiety. But I think for the most part, I think at least all of them except for one of the celebrity scents, I'm not sure if it's discontinued. And if it is, it's still incredible incredibly easy to find. So as always, don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Instagram, and let's get into it. We will start with niche because I think that is the most predictable of all of these. If you've been watching me for some time now, definitely if you've been watching me from the beginning, you will be able to guess these two um, very easily. And the first one, I'm sure you're all guessing already, and it's true, is Sunshine by Amouage. It would be the first one. It absolutely would if I could only keep two niche fragrances or if I was to restart my niche fragrance collection, I'd have to pick this one up. I just love it. I absolutely love it. I'm actually not wearing fragrance today yet, so hmm, I'm gonna wear it now. And I especially love this fragrance in fall and winter and colder weather. I just think the sweet tobacco and the Osmanthus, and it's just, I don't know, it, there's something about it. It's darker, it's richer, and I know a lot of people like to wear it in spring and summer because it's called sunshine, but to me it's a lot darker of a fragrance, and it's kind of smoky, but it's the best white tobacco ever. It's a really, really stunning fragrance. It is a beast mode fragrance that lasts through washing the garment that you're wearing it on, and I'm just not sick of it. I can't see myself ever getting sick of it. If I do, by the time I finish this bottle, then obviously I won't pick it up. But there is something absolutely to die for masterpiece status about this. So number one niche, absolutely need to have that. And then the second one again, I think it's so predictable. I would have to get this one again, is Bal d'Afrique. This is just me. It's me in a fragrance. It absolutely encapsulates so many parts of me. It is fresh, it's got violet, it's floral, but it's, you know, citrusy and it's clean, but it's not too laundry-like. There is something so, so special about this fragrance. I know there's been, I think it's like Zara made a dupe of this, which I never tried, um, that some people loved. And I still think it's really unique. I think it's a really simple, unique fragrance and I still remember it was again just like Amouage it was one of those love and intoxicatingly unbelievable experiences when I first smelled it I was like this is it I cannot believe I don't have a fragrance like this and I absolutely need it so Belle d'Afrique I'd have to rush out and get as well now we go into designer fragrances and I'm not saying I cheated with the first one, but it is the exclusive line of a designer, so I'm counting it as a designer fragrance because it's not a niche house, but it is the exclusive line. I'm sure you guys are probably guessing already which line it is, and it is Maison Lancome, and I kept thinking which one would I have to purchase first, and it was between two that I was going back and forth. 
and I decided to go with uh, Parfait de Rose. This is a beautiful, again, very beast mode, powdery rose. It's very warm and inviting and feminine. And I admit, the other one that I was gonna decide between was Roses Bear Branza, and it's a close second. That one just surprised me because it's a gourmand, a much more gourmand rose. And it's syrupy, and it wouldn't be like a huge love for me in any other circumstance, but something about this Maison Lancome line, they just knock it out of the park every time. So Parfait de Rose is just a little bit more up my alley in that it's more of a safe fragrance, but they're both incredibly beautiful. I'd eventually have to get both of them, but this is my, um, one of my first two, obviously, that I get of a designer fragrance. It's stunning. This also, along with Amour Sunshine, will last you forever, and you can definitely overspray this, even for someone like me. And then the second designer fragrance is actually uh, by Dior, and that's Hypnotic Poison. I have the Eau de Toilette. I'd probably either get the Eau de Toilette or Eau de Parfum. I'm not really sure if I had to repurchase. I just happened to find the Eau de Toilette when I picked this up for a really good deal, so I picked it up. I love this fragrance. It has been a long time love for me. It is so beautiful and such a lovely, probably my favorite ever take of a root beery fragrance. Um, with the almond in there. It was the first fragrance at least that spurred that love in me. Um, and ever since I've been unbelievably drawn to fragrances that have that kind of spin to them. They might not be dupes of this by any means, but they'll, they'll have that quality that you get um, with almond and some florals that can kind of give off a root beer Dr. Pepper <laughs> type note or scent and I love it and Hypnotic Poison is just an absolute classic, my favorite of all the poisons and I definitely have to pick it up as part of my collection if I had to restart it. Then we get to that category I kind of made up, I just, I wanted it to encapsulate designers but not like fashion couture designers. So the first one is a fragrance I've talked about since maybe my first video ever on YouTube, and a lot of you have picked up this fragrance, and that is Sense of Glam by Zara. I still think it's available. Um, at first, someone had told me, one of the sales associates had told me that it was getting discontinued, so I bought this and four backups, and I said it was getting discontinued, but then a whole bunch of you continued to find it online, even though it wasn't in store. I have lost track. From what I know, it's still available. If it's not, then I guess I was mistaken. Um, but it's so beautiful. It is actually now smelling it, um, kind of similar in vibe to Parfait de Rose, so I probably wouldn't, in theory, need both, but I absolutely do. And I've long had this before that I ever got Parfait de Rose, and obviously there's a huge price difference. But this is also beast mode. It lasts so, so long. It is so beautiful and sp smells so much more expensive than it actually is. These are the regular bottles and then they sell huge refill bottles, which I never picked up because I actually really like these small, um, like 30 ml bottles. And this smells like, it smells like lipstick and it is the most beautiful lipsticky fragrance. It's like vanilla, rose, like lychee lipstick. It is so, so beautiful. I love this. Cannot recommend it enough. I wish I looked up if it was still available, but I'm just gonna pretend it is for this, uh, for the sake of this video. And if you can ever find it online and you like those kinds of fragrances, I am still not over this. I know I haven't talked about it for a while, but I still absolutely love this and I wear it all the time. Then a more recent fragrance that I've fallen so, so in love for, love with, and I would absolutely have to have it as part of the fragrances I picked up first, and that is This Is Her by Zadig and Voltaire. I love this fragrance. It is so unique and interesting and, oh my god, creamy and lactonic and, 
Oh, I love this. I absolutely love this. I love the bottle. I feel like the bottle is so aesthetically pleasing to me. And there isn't enough good things I can say about this. I always give that disclaimer that I know this is quite polarizing and and it can turn some people off because of its uniqueness and the lacton lactonic quality the that mixes in with it sometimes goes metallic on some people, I've heard. For me, none of that happens. It is just incredible. And I've asked before, but I definitely want to ask again if you guys have any experience with other Zedigan Voltaire fragrances, let me know in the comments below because I've only heard bad things about the others or that they're so similar to this that it's not worth it. But I've had such an incredible relation like experience with this that I really want to pick up some more if I can. So definitely let me know if you've liked the others, but if you haven't, I would suggest trying to get your nose on this. Maybe not the 100 mil if you're unsure, but it, it absolutely would have to be a part of my collection. And then finally we get to celebrity fragrances. So the first one will be no surprise to any of you, and that is Thank You Next by Ariana Grande. I would 100% have to pick this one up. It is just sweet and delectable and I don't know, it's it's so youthful and young without being a turnoff. Um, because I don't, I've never been into like Escada young fragrances or juicy like fruit punch youthful fragrances, but this is just a really beautiful, sweet, macaroon whipped cream, kind of ozonic, but in a sweet ozonic way. And I really, really love this. So one of you actually a while ago, I don't know, a week or two ago, said that you get pickle juice from this as well. I don't get pickle juice from this. I get pickle juice from Decadence. You said pickle juice and something else, which I found interesting because I tried to smell that and I feel like for a day or two it was turning me off to this fragrance because I was just trying to isolate it and it wasn't the pickle juice, it was the second thing you said. So if this was you, let me know in the comments. But I don't get pickle juice from this. All I get is sweet whipped cream, macaroon, and again, like it, it smells airy. That's what I mean when I mean ozonic. It doesn't smell in like a sea salt kind of way, but there is, there is something undeniably intoxicating uh, of this fragrance for me. So I would 100% pick it up. And then I didn't want to choose two from the same celebrity so I didn't pick Cloud and then I didn't want to choose my maybe my number one favorite celebrity fragrance of all time which is Miami Glow by JLo because it's very discontinued now and incredibly hard to find um, so I've heard and so I went with this one and I'm not sure if this one is discontinued this is Fancy Love by Jessica Simpson I feel like now it probably is but I see it all the time so it's definitely the kind of discontinued where you can pick it up quite easily and I did not expect to like this so much this is a fragrance I have put off for a very long time and I really really started to like it I mean I think it started about maybe a month or two into having it I realized I was actually really enjoying it and I would reach for it a lot I find it comforting I find it quite soft and yet it has great lasting power. It doesn't necessarily have sillage where someone is smelling you from a very, very far distance, but the personal kind of like bubble and sillage that it creates is actually quite strong. And I don't have a whole lot of celebrity fragrances that are not discontinued. A lot of them are either discontinued or I'm not a fan um, of them that much anymore where I rush out to repurchase so it made the list quite low of what I could pick from and honestly if I wasn't going to have that rule where it would be okay to have two from the same celebrity I probably would get Cloud over Fancy Love because I do prefer Cloud to Fancy Love but there is there is genuinely something undeniably really nice about Fancy Love and Taylor by Taylor Swift which I also own has a quality of this as well where it's kind of champagne-y but it has like peach or apricot and 
Yeah, they smell quite similar, but if I had to only pick up one, I think I'd pick up this one. It's a little bit softer and a little bit less sweet, and I really like it. So those would be all the fragrances I would rush out to get, the first eight at least, two per category that I would rush out to get if I had to restart my collection. Um, as this is like my own spin on this type of video, I actually will tag three people. I'm going to tag three people um, that make videos in the description box below, so make sure to check that out. But of course, if ever you guys make videos, let me, you know, just run with this and make your own versions of this video. And for you guys watching, let me know which ones you pick up uh, in the comments below. And don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the next video in this subscriber suggest series, and I'll see you next time. Bye!